Christmas day one. Today is December 1st, so I wasn't even gonna do Vlogmas. And then my husband was like, you can do it, babe. You can do it, you can do it. And I love a good challenge, so. Did you fart? With that, no, I didn't fart. With that being said, I am up super early. It is 8.06, so I barely got any rest, y'all, because, okay, I stayed up last night finishing my intro and stuff and um editing some content and doing some online shopping and then the boys for whatever reason woke up at like 5 a.m and they would not go back to freaking bed like carter has really been up since five and i was gonna make him go back to sleep then i remember kate got an appointment today it's a specialty appointment and we already waited like a whole month for this appointment so we cannot miss it so i was like let me get up uh-huh i was like let me get up and let me get the day started because we gotta get a roll on it. I gotta get a roll on my vlog because I have to get this vlog out today. So, yeah. Also, the elf on the shelf made its appearance last night and Carter has not seen it yet. So, I'm gonna show y'all. So, I, it was really last minute, y'all. Like, I really should have did better, but I just put out, like, this is empty, by the way. Can y'all see? Okay. There's his elf inside of a coffee mug with a little coffee mug for him, some hot cocoa for the Keurig, and this um book to go with it so he's gonna be super excited when he wakes up because i told him that it was coming today so yeah so i'm about to get up get the day started honey and yeah basically right now i'm replying to some comments on tiktok because people be thinking they can say anything to you but not me okay standy but yeah so that's what's going on right now Hopefully, I don't let y'all down with Vlogmas. I'm going to try not to, but y'all know life happens. So, see y'all in a bit. <gasps> wow, that's so amazing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We got a note from Santa. Look, it says, hello, Carter and Kay. My name is Snowy, and I am here from the North Pole. Santa sent me here to watch your behavior, and if you're good, he will reward you with gifts in 24 days. But one rule, you can't touch me, or else my Christmas magic fades away. Love, Snowy. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> His name is Snowy. That's so cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, my God. Wow, Snowy left a little surprise. He left some hot cocoa. You want to have some hot cocoa? Uh -huh. Okay, I think, I think Snowy brought you this book. It's called The Elf on the Shelf. A Christmas tradition. Wow. wow. We can read this book in a little bit, okay? Whenever Kay wakes up, we'll read it together, okay? Okay. okay. I'll read it first. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, why is my child insisting that he drinks? out of this damn cough, um, Christmas ornament. Like, I got this. I mean, I, this was an elf prop, baby. Not for you to sip out of. Here. Here. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Come here. Let me, let me see. Let me take a video for Gerber. <laughs> all right y'all so it is 10 26 now i got the boys dressed i did their hair everything so now i can get myself dressed i always put myself last because it's just easier that way like i could take however long i need to get dressed because i know everybody already ready so let's go into our little junky closet hold on camera wipes to clean my camera lens because it's so dirty so hold up y'all we're gonna clean this real quick because okay, it's still looking a little foggy i don't know my kids be touching it so maybe that's why hold up Ooh. it's giving better okay I'm gonna clean my phone lens too because I'm also shooting content for uh, TikTok. So, yeah, let's go into this closet. This, y'all, 
I had told y'all when we was like moving or whatever that I really want a big closet. And so this is like why when we get a house, which will be soon, it gotta be just it just gotta come with it. Cause I want to color color coordinate my closet. I want to put my bags on display and everything is just so freaking junky. All my shoes on the floor. And I'm obviously sharing this closet with CJ. And it's a pretty size, it's a pretty good size closet. We just got so much stuff. Like it just don't give. And y'all please, y'all gotta excuse all CJ little alcohol bottles because I don't know who told him. I don't know who told him that those bottles was decor. And it's giving ghetto. And it's finna get out. Yeah, so I have to, we have to take Kay to the doctor at one. Whenever I take my kids to the doctor, I like to look really cute. So I want to find me a cute little outfit. But I really don't have anything. I really need to go shopping. That's what I really need to do. And I was procrastinating per usual. I missed the whole Fashion Nova Black Friday. I missed all it. So we're not going to dwell on that though. What we're going to do is we're going to keep moving. We're going to find us something cute to put on and yeah so i have i'm looking at this jumpsuit right here i can think about wearing this jumpsuit and i could wear this with my rick owens i could do that i think i don't know let's try it on let's just try it on and see how it looks because if i remember correctly this jumpsuit is like really like low cut in the front and i don't want my boobs to be looking like they finna fall out so i'm about to try it on hold on i gotta put on a bra hold on y'all yeah, so this is this jumpsuit on and y'all can see it's really low cut right here so i think i need to put like a pin like a safety pin or something right there but i think this is what i'm gonna wear i don't know though i'm gonna try it on See how it's like busting out the seams? I don't need to be busting out the seams, baby. This is why I never wore it because of that right there. But I think I'm gonna try it on with these little Rick Owen. See if I like what it's giving. And if not, we'll find a different shoe. And if not, we'll find a different outfit. So let's just, okay y'all. This outfit is getting on my nerves. Like why the hell is it falling off like this? So it's not giving. So I picked out something else. I picked out this little body suit type thing from Fashion Nova. And then these mom jeans from Fashion Nova. And I'm about to throw this on. Then I'll let y'all know how they look. Cause this is really pissing me off. This finna go in the trash. Like of all things you could do, why would you want to be hanging off like that? That's just crazy. Let me change, I'm back. Okay y'all, new outfit. This is much better. So I put on this little body suit. And it's supposed to be empty right here. It's like not supposed to be a stripe, but I just wore a black bra underneath. So that's why I had a stripe right there. And it's not ugly, so I'm going to keep it with these little mom jeans. And it's Gucci belt. So I feel like it's really cute. I feel like it's really cute. And it's what it, it's giving. Why is Jared's texting me? So ever since me and CJ went to jared to talk to a sales associate about upgrading my ring they keep on texting me they really want to make that sale like oh, if i ain't came back yet maybe i changed my mind maybe i want someone else anyways okay i'm gonna have to get dressed y'all because it's getting crusty so really quick i have to put my contacts in and then yeah i'm just gonna go in here so, tomorrow, I have a pre-recorded video that I kind of want to upload for day two, but I don't know, because tomorrow, we got Bath and Body Candle um, day, so I think tomorrow, I might just do like another day in the life, and for day three, maybe do a haul with y'all, or I might include the haul for part of tomorrow, I really don't know. I have a bunch of ideas wrote down, but like I said, this is my first time ever attempting Vlogmas. Um, also, I'm doing it on two different platforms. So, on my YouTube and on my TikTok. So, I'm trying not to skip any days, but I really cannot make no promises, y'all, because this is a big commitment. Y'all know I got two kids. 
I got my mom and my wife. I'm a busy person. So for me, if you ever commit to something, as big as Vlogmas, um, it's like a big, it's like a big, a big commitment for me. Oh, babe, I ordered me a new wig last night. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yeah, I was up trying to order my wig and your shoes, and I could not for the life of me figure out how to order them shoes. So I was like, I'm just let him do it, but I do the wrong thing. So. Merry Christmas, baby. You. From you to you, because I don't work. <laughs> you heard me? Merry Christmas from you to you, because I don't work. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. But yeah, um, I bought me a new wig. Merry Christmas. So I got 30 inch. I think I got 30 inch. Let me see. I'm gonna tell y'all what I got. I think it's 30 inch. Yeah, I got a five by five 30 inch deep wave unit. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I've been loving my waves that I've been putting in this. So I went, I was debating between this deep wave and like body wave, but today is December 1st. My birthday is January 3rd. So probably, um, Probably around the 15th of the month, I'm gonna order a different wig. That's gonna be my birthday here. So I was like, yeah, let me just go ahead and do deep wave so I can have my deep wave. Because I've been wanting me some more deep wave. I haven't had deep wave since my baby shower. That was last year, September of last year. So I was like, I really want me deep wave. So this is what I got, period. And I'm sorry, but I was shopping, like last year I was shopping with um, Beauty Forever hair, uh, Alley Pearl, but I was shopping on their direct site. Y'all, they have their direct sites, but they also have storefronts on AliExpress, and the wigs are so much cheaper on AliExpress. Like, I'm sorry, why was I paying like $350 for like 20 inch? That's crazy when I just bought 30 inch for like 200 and I know people be talking stuff about Elliot's first weeks. Be like, oh, they bad quality, they this, they that. But if you know me, Elliot's first pushed me through high school. Like, I've been shopping on Elliot's first since I was in, like, eighth grade. That's where I bought my first bundles from, headed to ninth grade. I've been shopping on Elliot's first. Now, sometimes, granted, yes, the hair be bad. Sometimes the hair be bad. Like, one time I bought some hair off of there. I was trying to be cheap because I had a little job at Crystal's. And I didn't, I, don't, I made minimum wage. So, I was like, I'm buying some hair, but I ain't going to be able to, just, like, spurt, like, when my mama buy it. So, I bought, like, 30 inches, y'all. And it, I believe, because I was, in high school, I was that girl. I always had uh, no less than a 28. Like, it was always 28 or better. So I bought like 30 inches, um, 30 inch bundles, three of them, and a closure. And I sat up here and tried to dye the hair. And when I started dyeing it, the hair was like melting. Like it, it was like melting. It was getting tangly. It was just a disaster. So I ended up texting my hair girl and she told me what to do. She told me to go get this shampoo and conditioner. It's like a keratin treatment to treat the hair and like see if it would stop shedding or whatever. So I did it. And um, my hair appointment was like two days after that. So we went, or I went, and she, she did it. She did my hair. And like even, it just wasn't giving. Like it was giving raggedy, okay? And I don't like that. Um, It was good for like maybe a month. And then after that, I couldn't do it no more, y'all. It was, the 30 inch was down to like a, a, a 22. It had shed it so bad. So sometimes if you're on there trying to be cheap, you're going to get what you pay for but I feel like $200 can do you real good on AliExpress. Also, when you're shopping on there, you want to look for the reviews. So this week that I bought, it has great reviews. It's been ordered like over 10,000 times. So if it has a lot of orders, go for it. If it has like 100 orders, stay away from it. That means they're probably a new store and yeah, they just ain't got nobody to vouch for them in the reviews. So stay away. But as far as this company, Y'all already know when it comes. I'll probably do a hair video. I haven't did a hair video since like forever ago, but I'll probably do a hair video just because I can. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it's 30 inch, like I said. I'm really excited. And yeah, I've really been wanting me some deep wave, like D 
B-Wave is low maintenance. Lower maintenance than hair that need to be crimped or curled every day. And so I just want to shake and go. I want to get up, shake it, and I want to go. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on TikTok. So let me tell y'all on October. Hold on, because I've been keeping track of my followers in my notes on my phone. On October 19th, I only had 983 followers on TikTok. Today is December 1st. I have 5,200. Last night when I went to bed, I had 4,998. So I have grown a good 200 and something overnight. And yeah, being consistent, being consistent, it's grown my channel. I mean, my page on there. And also, it's getting a lot of traffic to my YouTube because I put it in the bio. So people clicking, they subscribing. And yeah, I told my husband I'm really about to take content creating seriously because. Even if, like, I'm not, like, TikTok, everybody knows TikTok don't pay no money for real, for real. So, I'm not after money on TikTok. I'm just after a community. Like, I just want to find my people. And I'm finding them every day, every day, every day, every day. I've been doing these day in the life videos. And it seems like people really, 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 really enjoy them. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to finish my hair and then I'll be back. before it get a short skin it like my last one and it blow up in my hand like my last one did so what i'm gonna do is like mold this wig backwards if that makes sense so that i can spray some of this spray on the lace and then put the band on because it's starting to lift and i don't it's starting to lift and i don't want to take it off right now I want it to last until I get my new week. Babe, you want to say hello? Hello. Hmm? Hello. To my mom. Oh. Baby, you want to say hello? Duh. What's up, everybody? Uh-uh. Uh-uh, you need to bring a little bit more energy than that. Uh-uh. Clean and pristine and well put together. First, put some lotion on my face because girl, you can't be around here looking crusty. Like, mm -mm. I mean, looking crusty. Okay. 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 So, y'all know I live in California now, so I don't really know the best times to upload to YouTube on this um, time zone, but I think I'm gonna try to have the vlog up by seven tonight. This is day one, I'm gonna try to have it up by seven. And then I'll see how it does with that time. If it does good, that's what time I'll upload every day for the rest of the month. But yeah, right now, I'm feeling in my brows. Folks be out here buying these expensive ass brow pencils and stuff. I just can't get G with it. I got me a little cheap one from the hair store. 
and do just fine. Y'all look at my spoolie. Like, girl, you really need to buy a new spoolie. Whatever you want to call it. Because this, this right here, this crazy. And you, you, this shit look like a, a pencil that been sharpened down too far. Maybe one day this week for Vlogmas, we'll go to Ulta and we'll buy some new makeup. Because clearly, I need to re-up. I definitely need to re-up. People commenting on my TikToks, I keep getting notifications. And this one lady got saying, looks like you need a job. Looks like you need to mind your mother's business. Be worried about the wrong thing. Now I click on her page. She every bit of 50. Like, damn, ain't you supposed to be about to retire? Why your business? I'm a fresh, hot 22. And you're on my page hating on me. It's giving jealous. The fuck? And then, it's all these old men who keep coming for me on TikTok. Saying, I'm a dependa. If you know, you know what a dependent is. Saying, I need to get a job, da da da. But none of that don't bother me because people say, okay, you need to get a job. I got two kids. So if I go get a job, I would be basically just working to pay childcare. Because I'm having to put my kids in daycare. Daycare is nasty. And I don't think it's, it's nothing wrong with daycare. But I don't want my kids to have to go be taken care of by somebody else all day when I can take care of them. Nobody gonna treat your kids how you gonna treat your kids. Nobody gonna take care of your kids and love your kids like you gonna love your kids. So why the hell would I go put my kids in daycare? Just to create a big, big huge bill. Cause here in California, I think it's like on average, like 1400 a month per kid. I got two. That's like a mortgage payment basically. Y'all tripping. Like, I seen somebody was like, they got daycare on base. And if you knew anything about on base, dummy, you would know it goes by priority. If you have a meal-to-meal a -meal family, like the mom and dad in the military, they would have priority over our kids anyways because um, I don't, I'm not in the military. So, we still wouldn't even get a spot, but that, that's irrelevant because my kid's not going to daycare. And can't nobody make me feel shameful or none, none of that yes beat that out tell him don't scare you can't nobody make me feel shameful for deciding to be a stay-at-home mom you know what i'm saying like it's i mean it works for us our family we flow very well on one income if we had two incomes we would be a force to be working with like two if i work two we'd be forced to be working with but I feel like right now we already live a good life. We have nice savings. And yeah, people just need money for fucking business. It's that simple. If you're not paying my bills, why are you why are you worried? Why are you worried about what's going on in this house? It's getting weird. And so many of the pages fake. I ain't even got no profile pictures or no content. Just behind the fake page, hey. Just crazy. But anyways, I'll put a screenshot of TikTok up and I'll put it in the description too so y'all make sure y'all go follow your girl give your girl a follow but yeah i kind of want to do some face makeup today i got this tinted moisturizer y'all know i always talk about it it's by color pop it's like lotion basically with a tint i'm gonna put some of this on my beauty blender i just wet my beauty blender because it applies a little bit better when it's wet i'm gonna put this on and we're gonna pop a little concealer on, and that's gonna be it for the day. We're not gonna do too much. Y'all know I barely even like to wear makeup, especially since my face just started breaking out so bad all of a sudden. But whatever. I mean, it's just skin. It'll get better. It'll get better. I really just need to start putting the right products on it. Like CeraVe works so good for my face, and I have not been using it. But I'm gonna finish this. All right, y'all. So I'm ready. Just do a little outfit. I feel like you kind of look weird with these boots, but 
whatever. I'm not changing because my kids already being bad and they daddy already got an attitude. I guess I've been taking too long to get ready, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. Do. This is the perfume of the day. YSL Libre Intense. I haven't worn this in forever. And the little ornament that Carter was drinking out of, it broke, child. But we already knew that was coming. So, I'll catch up with you guys once we leave the house. Okay, we have made it to Kay's appointment. And waiting on the doctor to come in and just put out all his paperwork. So, today we're going to figure out if he needs surgery or not. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. Whichever way it goes, whatever's best for him is what we'll be. So, we'll be whatever they get. So, yeah. Be back. I forgot to tell y'all, we got a new set of wheels. And it's giving material, baby. It's a pack and play on wheels. All right, you guys. We have left Kate's appointment. So, we got a really good report. Um, he does not need to have the surgery. At least for right now, we are good on surgery. So, that's really good. I was hoping he didn't need it because, I mean, who really want their baby to have surgery? That's just crazy. What that is? It's chickens out. <laughs> um, anyways, right now we're headed to um, the exchange so that we can pick up a couple toys. I wanted to go grocery shopping today, but I just don't see that happening. So tonight when we get home, I'm going to do a, a Walmart order to have our groceries delivered in the morning. Or I can go pick them up either way. Yeah, that's what they need me to do. But um, yeah, basically we just left the appointment and now we're headed to the store. Um, and yeah, not really doing too much. Gotta get something to eat, it's 1.42. I haven't ate all day. I always do this, I don't eat until I feel weak. And it's kinda like too late. Like you're, you're already starving by now. So yeah, we are about to head up here. So I'll see you guys later. Shopping. All right, guys, I am back at home right now. So, Kay is asleep. He's teething really bad, so he's so fussy. But I'm about to already end this vlog because I have to upload it so that we get focus on tomorrow. I know today was all over the place, just running errands type stuff, but it was Vlogmas Day One, and I can't wait to see you babes tomorrow. Also, make sure to follow me on TikTok because this old ass woman keep coming for me. She like renting. That's how you know you financially irresponsible. Bitch, you're not gonna bully me into buying a house. If I want to buy a house tomorrow, I could buy a house tomorrow. <laughs> Credit good, money good. I mean, it's just nothing to it. I literally live in California. Dino Rex. Dino Rex. Yeah, the average single family home goes for a half a million dollars. But who finna put that? Who? Who? It's just not feasible for me. Yes, I'm renting my nice ass apartment for the time being, and I'm satisfied with that. You're not gonna bully me into my house. Y'all bitches is old and weird. And she's like 50 years old. Like, bitch, move around. But anyway, y'all. That is all for today's vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love y'all. Happy Vlogmas.